Greetings. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a contact form and install it into your website so that people can submit their email address to you, um, sign up, get on your mailing list, that kind of thing. So here is a website I've created using Google Sites. And as you can see here, I've got a link down here. And what I want to do is I want to have this link point to a contact form so that people can give me their email address and I can send them a promo code to get 20% off on their first year of G Suite. And the way you do this is you start off using Google Drive and you go and click here where it says new and then go down you now you see Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, go to where it says more you'll see Google Forms and then you'll see still another drop-down list that gives you an option to choose a blank form or to make a form from a template and we're going to do that today we click there and here you can see here's some forms I've recently used we're going to use this this form here for contact information first thing you're going to want to do is just take a look at the environment here there's a few icons up here and there's a few icons here and then there's some fields here where you can enter some stuff so first of all is uh, the form description let's go ahead and fill that in and we're gonna call it enter your email to get 20% off on your first year of the suite and now we're going to choose our fields. Now, I don't really want people to have to enter their name, so I'm just going to remove this field. Yes, I do want people to have to enter their email, so I'm going to leave this field in here. But uh, I, I think I'm just going to leave it a short answer. I don't think we need uh, this extra stuff here, so we're going to just take that out okay and we're gonna leave it as required address I don't need anyone's address so I'm taking that out phone number taking that out comments not interested in comments I'm taking that out very good now we have kind of a basic form here and shows where they can put their email address in now up here, this gives you, this icon right here gives you the option to make some changes to the appearance of your form. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll select a nice neutral kind of uh, background for that. And let's go ahead and we will upload an image for a custom header. Now when you do this, uh, Google gives you some options uh, to use their own custom headers which are beautiful but in this case I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm going to choose my own so the way you do that is click here where it says upload photos and then select a photo from your computer and I have one here I'm going to use open it's uploading and that looks pretty good in fact I think I'll leave it just like that and select And there we go. I've customized my form somewhat now. I'm going to go ahead and close this menu. And oh, another thing I wanted to show you right here on your settings, you can go into here. We're going to set it to collect email addresses. We're not going to have any response receipts. We're not going to require a sign in. We are going to allow them to edit after they submit and uh, we are not going to let them see a summary of chart and text responses now the next tab here is presentation we go in here and here um, not going to show them a progress bar not going to shuffle the question order because there's only one question what is your email address and this one here uh, show link to submit another response why not uh, that kind of makes sense to me and uh, a confirmation message now this is the automatically generated confirmation message but you can uh, edit this and I'm going to I'm going to say thank you for submitting your email address 
period, you will be receiving a code to get your 20% off on the suite. Okay? And uh, in well, why not? We'll add another message in the meantime. Don't forget to sign up for the free trial. Here is the link. So I don't want all that text, but I do want that link right there. So I'm going to back that. And there is the link that I want to share with them to make sure that they sign up. So while they're getting their 14 day trial and they're waiting for me to send them the promo code, uh, they can be using G Suite and getting you, uh, you know, familiar with it. And then uh, I, I, in the, you know, might take me a day or two to send them the promo code, but in the meantime, they'll be doing that. And that's about all we need to do to this. I'm going to save it. And uh, now we're all done. We can preview the form by clicking here and see what it looks like. It looks pretty good. But again, I have two fields. I have an extra field here I don't need. So I'm going to go back in and edit that right here. And let's take that extra field out. And now we're done. Let's go and look at that. And there it is. All right. Next step is we're going to need to insert this contact form into a, a web page so that uh, people can use it. So um, again, let's go to the preview. Let's go ahead and control copy that URL. Using Google Sites, I've created a shell website here to use an ex as an example for you. And we'll just uh, put in some sample text here. Uh, okay. We'll highlight that text. And then click up here where it says link. And we're going to link to a web address. And we can go ahead and put our URL in there. And let's select open in a new window and click OK and click save. Now there's my web page with the active link. And let's go ahead and test the link and make sure it works. And sure enough, when I click on the link, it takes me to the contact form and it gives people the option to put in their email address. And that, my friends, is how you create a contact form using Google Drive and how you insert it into your Google Sites website. I hope you found this information useful, and if you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe below. I'll talk to you next time.